Hey guys, it's been a while, but I'm really excited for this upcoming video where I'll be sharing a quick tutorial of how I painted these florals. Uh, I actually was inspired by a old uh, watercolor book that my mother-in-law had passed down to me. It's called Painting Garden Decor, and this artist was showing different elements of uh, things that she had painted um, to incorporate into her garden, but um, I love the way that she did some of her roses, and so I incorporated that and combined it with some of the ways I normally paint flowers with a round brush and so hopefully this tutorial will help you guys to try different ways to paint flowers and just have fun with it. So we're going to start off with supplies. I have a black cardstock paper, a large palette for my paint, um, and these are the brushes that I'm going to be using. A 12 round, uh, 3 quarter of an inch flat, and a small water brush. This is just for the finer details. As for the ink, I'm gonna be using the Arteza Stone Blue Gouache. It has like a really pretty blue, and then um, every calligrapher should have this, but this is the uh, Dr. Peach Martin's Bleed Proof White. And so we're gonna be mixing, I have it already in the Dinky Dip, but we're gonna be mixing these two colors together. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna be putting um, our inks onto the palette. So um, here is my bleed proof white. I have some here, but it's dried up right now, so I want it to be wet. So I'm just gonna pour a new pool of white ink here. And then I'm gonna take my gouache, and then I'm just going to kind of squeeze a bit of gouache next to it. Okay. Um, take your three quarter of an inch flat brush. I'm just gonna make sure it's wet enough so it picks up the ink. Okay, so what you're gonna do is um, on one side of the flat brush, you're just gonna dab it into one color so that it's about covered. And then you're gonna go to the other side, the other tip, and then you're just gonna dip it into the blue gouache on that side. So you should see kind of like the shape. Okay, dab it on both sides. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come here in like a clear area and I'm just going to brush it down. I want the length of the shape to be about two inches because if I do it further, then you might actually rub off all of this paint. So you're just gonna go down press it down, and then um, you're gonna go the other way just to make sure that the brush has all the paint that you want. Okay, so you can see that it's a really nice combination of white on the bottom and blue on top. So you're gonna do this until about the brush has the paint to about like three quarters way up. You can always re-dip more. You need more of a white. I'm gonna do a kind of a C curve down this way towards my body. Lift, and then I'm gonna um, do it the same thing, except I'm gonna make the C curve on the opposite direction. Okay. Try again. So you can try it. See what it looks like when you have the white on the outside. That actually might look better. Okay, so here you can see there's a little bit more water there, so it didn't have that nice um, hole in the middle. This is, let me do it again with the blue. As you can see, it kind of gives the effect of a 3D effect for the center part of that rose. Okay, I think I like the white part should be on the left side. Okay, so make sure you have the white paint on the left corner. Yeah, I like this one better than when we had the blue on the left side. It kind of gives more of the effect that I want. Okay, so 
So this would be a good way to practice just making these curves. So you're gonna make a C curve going towards your body, going down the paper, and then you're gonna go back up and make the same curve, but on the other side. If you need more of the ink or the gouache, you can always re-dip the corners. Stroke down, come back up. So you don't wanna connect it down here. You wanna go back where the C the curve started on that left side, on this tip, and then you're just gonna curve it back down to connect it. Okay, there you have kind of the center of the rose. Now what's gonna happen when we make the outer petals? Okay, so we're gonna add on a little bit more of the petals. So you can come over here, same thing. Do C curve down, lift, Come back up here. Okay, we're gonna make that center part. Then you can continue to make this C curve counterclockwise. I was, I'm sorry, this is gonna be clockwise downward. So, but this time you're gonna start your brush a little bit higher up here. Kind of gives a dimension of more of or petals around it. You can come up higher. Okay, at this point, I actually like to switch over to my round brush just to have more of um, not such a sharp edge here, but I want to use my round brush to also have that effect. So with the round brush, I'm just going to dip it in both the white and the blue. And with this brush, you can really make the soft outer petals. Okay, so lift. I'm just going to go pressure and release. I like to start off thin, add the outer petal, lift off. So you can see that this shape that I'm making is a curved, kind of like a moon shape around the center, center part of this rose. Okay, again, you can do it more on this side. Just gonna add in those layers. Start with a thin stroke, press down, and then lift off. Okay, so keep doing that around the center part of this rose. Press down and release. And depending on how big you want this rose to be, you can continue to add it on. But for now, I'm just gonna stop because I'm pretty happy with how um, the shape of this looks like. Um, if you want to go back and clean up some of these shapes, I like to just go back in while it's wet and then just kind of make more of the shapes. If you want to add different colors here, if there's too much white here, then I like to go back, pick up some blue, and then add in a little bit of blue here. Okay. So once you're happy with that, um, it's kind of like how I made the rose. Um, if you want to just keep it just using the flat brush, again, you can just add on the layers just on top of this shape. Okay, so remember we just went on top and then we just continue to add on the C curve around that part, around this initial shape. Okay, so 
Then what I like to do is I actually like to do some hydrangeas and kind of paint that like next to the rose. And so using my round brush again, I'm just gonna dip it into both the white and the blue. And then you can just make these quick dabs onto your paper. So I like to put that next to it. You can actually go back, pick up more of just the white, and then you can just add in some white in there. And then I like to do, you can add in some leaves. Okay, so at this point, if you wanna do bigger leaves, you can stick with this 12 round, but if you wanna make smaller leaves, you can use this um, uh, fine tip water brush. Okay, so um, again, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna dip it in both white and blue. Okay, and I like to lift up the brush so that I can use the tip don't make it too, if you keep it too flat, then your leaves will come out looking um, a lot bigger. So I like to lift up my brush about 45 degrees uh, from the paper. And you're just gonna gently go a um, little pressure and then gradually add pressure and then lift the brush. Okay, again, light pressure. Press down and then lift. I'm gonna go back, can I add more whites? You can do that too. Sometimes I like to put a little bit more detail at the tips of the leaves. You can do, um, if you're using the fine brush, um, the water brush, you can actually add some branches. So this one, I'm gonna just pick up mostly of like the white and you can add in some wispy branches. So mainly the curved lines. Like that. You can also use the fine uh, brush to add up more of the details to the leaves. Okay, sometimes I like to go back, just add in a little bit more of that crease to the leaves. Or if you want to touch up anything of the flower, this fine brush actually is a great way to add more of like the detailing. Okay, so if you wanna kind of outline in a parts of the petals, then it's a good way to add some detailing. So with this part, I like to just use just the white paint. Okay, um, that's pretty much it. So usually I'll do like a rose and then we'll do, I love um, adding in some hydrangeas um, next to it. You can add any smaller rose here, uh, more leaves. Um, you can do like a compound leaf stem, which is, uh, let me see if I can add it on this side. I usually put down the stem first. And then I'll just make small curved shapes coming out from the stem. Okay, so just gonna make an kind of like an oval shape going in the direction of the stem. Okay, and this one I usually just like draw it in. If I want to add in more blue to change up some of the colors, you can add shading. 
by adding some color to part of that leaf like that. That way you have a uniform blue and white theme going on here. So that's how I did the envelopes and just um, kind of decorating that corner of the envelopes. Uh, I hope this was helpful for you guys. Let me know if you tried it and um, hopefully this was a very therapeutic exercise for you. Um, but yeah, feel free to tag me on Instagram so I can see it and share it with everyone. Um, but thanks for watching.